I'm getting down to the last few here, so I thought I'd go ahead and start the video back up. I'm pretty sure this bottom box is the meat birds, the dark cornish, like I figured, because they all look the same. Still dipping them in the water. Give them a little drink. I already had a couple hop up on this little concrete barrier here, which surprised me. I didn't think they'd be jumping that high yet, so I may have to put something along it. I'm a little concerned they'll jump over it and then not be able to get back to the heat. And as you can see, there's one dead one in the box. That's just kind of the... Yeah, he's plum dead. That's just kind of the nature of the business when you get them through the mail you usually lose at least one it's actually pretty good to only lose one out of this many out of 80 and usually they send along a couple extras just for that reason so i didn't count but i probably still have 80 and they seem to be taken to it pretty well they're finding the water without any trouble i put one waterer out to make sure they could get to it without having to get up on this brick but i've already seen them get up there so i'll probably move it back up on the brick here before i leave to uh keep it up keeps keeps it cleaner to keep it up out of the bedding and they're already eating up working on the feed over here so I'll give them some more spread some more feed out last year the first few nights were pretty cold so it's kind of nice that this year it's warmer I don't have to worry about cold drafts down here at night or anything even if the heat lamps went out it'd probably still be okay but I think you can see my thermometer says it's 80 degrees here under this one for chicks like these they're about two days old you like it to be about 90 so I may lower them down just a bit more lower the lamps down just a bit more a little closer to get it up to about 90 and then if they don't like it that warm they can move off towards the corners a little bit and there's some so there's some room over towards the corner they can get to if they get too warm. And I'll put their actual feeder in here with plenty of feed in it for the night. And I'm sure I'll come down and check on them a few times through the night too, just to make sure they're doing okay, not getting too hot or cold. And in case you wondered, my bed is my bedroom is directly above them, so I will be able to hear them if they're having any trouble or being attacked by cats or anything. But they should be pretty secure in here. In fact, I may end up sleeping on the couch just to uh, stay away from the noise because once, once they're a little bigger and it's a little warmer, I'll turn the lights off at night, at least for a few hours, and let them, get, let them really settle down to get some good sleep. Is with the lights on, they kind of just they sleep a little bit, but they kind of keep moving all night and keep eating. And that's alright at first, but after a while you want them to kind of learn to go with the day and night. So I'm still not sure who's who here. The light colored ones, like this girl right here, I know those are Americanas, the Easter egg chickens that lay the blue and green eggs. And I'd say, like, that fuzzy one there, right in the middle is, too. The ones that kind of have not very distinct coloring lines and stuff, those are those are going to be the Americanas. They have some different coloration because they're differently colored when they're grown, based on the, the egg color. But as far as the rest, I'm not sure. There's ten, ten of the really dark ones. They could be the Speckled Sussex or the um, Golden Lace Wyandots. And then all the rest are a mix of the, um, the dark cornish and whatever the other one is. So, it'll be easier to tell in a week or so when they start putting on some feathers and over top of their down. Or I could look in the catalog and see, but it'll be easier to tell in a little while. Well, they seem to be pretty happy here. And a few running for the water and... 
I'm assuming they mostly be staying under the light so they're enjoying the warmth. They're not looking to go off in the cold corners too much. So that's good. And they're not quite as noisy as they were at first either. They'll, they'll settle down a little after they've gotten used to things. They've gotten a belly full. So I think I'll go ahead and stop the video here and lower the lights down a little bit. And maybe I'll shoot another one tomorrow see how they're doing then.